because we're a small rural school, the land and the sea, it means so much to everybody here. So learning for sustainability is really embedded in our school here. We're surrounded by beautiful land and we have access to it. We don't have a huge playground, so we thought, let's take the learning to the shore. And we go there once a week for shore school. These lessons are connected to the curriculum and each term is one curricular area. Literacy, it can be numeracy, it can be art. Any curricular area is taken down. A huge benefit we've seen is how much the children enjoy it and the enthusiasm they have for not just going for shore, but for the lessons that they're going to have when they're down there. So children who wouldn't necessarily be interested in writing, describing words, are all of a sudden absolutely enthused to write describing words about some very slimy seaweed or the noises they can hear because they're in a very stimulating environment. Everybody has different ways of learning and so it, it's, it's letting kids that you can see they're in their element out there, whereas sometimes in the classroom they might find that they can't concentrate for so long. We build a shelter using tarpaulin and stones and rope and sticks and some poles that we bring down. They're involved in getting the stuff to the shore. They're involved in putting up the tarp. They have to work cooperatively. They have to communicate to each other about where to be around the tarpaulin, who needs to go where, who needs to put what where. So they've got real ownership of the whole learning environment. The impact is huge. They're able to learn in a natural environment using all the natural resources. They're able to work as a team, communicate effectively. Yeah, they thrive on it. Outdoor learning is so, so valuable to the children. And we do come back wet and we do come back dirty and our carpets do get muddy, but that's okay because the mud dries and the children have had that experience. Yeah.